Hey, good morning. My name is Andrea Smith and happy Valentine's Day. Today is the day that people all over celebrate the love that they have, that we have in our lives. I have some of my favorite friends here for a very special romantic Valentine's Day date. And on behalf of West Church, I am so glad that you have chosen to take a few minutes out of your morning or uh, throughout the week to worship with us. We are really excited about the message we have to share with you today. And we're going to talk about the universal concept, feeling, and belief of love. Other than one other concept, it is the most talked about idea and belief in scripture. We believe that it is something that dominates our lives. And we also believe that the way that we experience love is by giving it away. So on this Valentine's Day, I want to share with you what in the year of 2020, we as a church did to give love away. It's crazy to believe that it's almost been a full year since we were together in person in worship. It's been a challenging year, a crazy year, and also a year full of joy. And it's hard to imagine that, a year full of joy and love in the middle of a pandemic until you like sit down and take an assessment. So that's what today is about. We're going to share a very special video with you, share with you how your impact has made a difference in our community and in our world. And I have a special challenge that I'd like to ask you to do uh, today and in 2021 so we can continue being a people of love. If you're newer to the West community, we invite you to text the number that you see on the screen and text the word welcome. We would love to know that you are worshiping with us. Uh, we, it, we will send you a gift. And then after that, you get to choose how much communication you would like to receive from West. But the bottom line is, we're so grateful you're here this morning. We have a special message for you. And we're going to celebrate love on this very special Valentine's Day. There's one day of the year when love is celebrated in abundance. Big red hearts passed to all of our friends. Bags of the best chocolate consumed by the pound. Cards, candy, nice meals, surprise gifts. It's lavish and lovely and reminds us of all the good things. But what does love look like when it spills to every other day of the year? Maybe it's food banks always stocked. Hard conversations over hot cups of coffee. Holding the hand of a stranger. Sticking it out through hard times. Sitting in grief, it's not even yours. Delivering hope through a simple card. Laughter and goodwill. Provision, protection, patience. Forgiveness before it's asked. Walking a mile in another's shoes. We know this kind of love because we saw it. Love is the Son willing to hang on the cross. The God willing to die in our place. The Father who had a plan to save His children from the moment He created us. We were always on His heart and still are every day of the year. A few weeks ago, the staff and I gathered on the staff retreat so that we could lay out some goals and hopes for 2021. We have this amazing gentleman who has been sharing his gifts with us so that we can become more relevant in Google searches and so that people can find out about this church that truly does welcome and love all people. And so he charged us with the concept and the idea of creating a video that could be watched uh, without any audible sound, just words and pictures that would tell the story of West. It was humbling to be a part of creating that because in that, the staff and I realized how blessed we have been to be a part of your faith community, your church in 2020. In the middle of COVID, in the middle of quarantine, in the middle of a time of fear, you all lived out the concept that science has proven, which is it's more blessed to give than receive. It's, it's the teachings, the foundational teachings of Jesus Christ, but it's also scientifically proven that we are happier, we are more whole. In fact, we're even more attractive to other people. When we give, uh, you will be more likely, this is a study from Berkeley, you'll be more likely to find a mate 
if the women, gentle, this is for the guys, if you give, if you're generous, women are more attracted to you. And so I just thought that was a funny, fun fact for you. Uh, but the staff and I were humbled when we looked back over 2020 and saw the impact that you had. And in this time of uncertainty in the days ahead, we decided that today, the day of love, would be a day of celebration and not just a, a message where I push you to think and I push you to look inward. That's coming up starting on Wednesday and then in the weeks ahead in the season of Lent. Today, we just wanted to celebrate the impact that you have had and that you are making in our local community. You are being a people of love. If you give $1 to West Church, if you give of your time, if you served at the bash, if you sponsor a child in Uganda, if you bring in canned food, if you dropped it off at the office, if you came to our Christmas Eve service and gave to the Christmas Eve special offering, there have been several opportunities over this past year that you have had a chance to be the light and be the love that Christ encourages us to to share and that the Apostle Paul talks about. You know, he was changed by experiencing Jesus Christ. And then he went and he started churches so that they could then be agents of change. And, and that resonates with us, uh, a new church here in our local Mooresville community. In just a few minutes, I'm going to share with you the video that we will be publishing on our new website uh, to share the message of, of the impact that West Church has here in our community and in our world. But before I do that, I really did just want to say thank you because you have paved a way for us to, in the middle of just absolutely the most bizarre and challenging times, and for, in a season when we don't even have a physical place to meet, you have provided for us a way to be the light of Christ in our community. So as the pastor, I just wanted to say thank you. On behalf of the staff and the leadership, I wanted to say thank you. The impact that you have had in the lives of many is tangible and we're excited for the days ahead. Before I share with you what's coming, I want you to take a look at this video and see the impact that you have made.
When the staff and I looked at all the data that we pulled together for that video, we were speechless. We're like, oh my gosh, and I couldn't wait to share it with you. And, and then we decided that we would share it on the day of love. But in a time when we could not leave our homes, look at all that you did. You are still making people's lives better. And so in the year 2021, we are so excited for what is ahead. We have new ministry partners. A few weeks ago, I had the opportunity to go with one of our mission team leads to Third Creek Middle School. It's a new middle school. It doesn't have a PTA. It doesn't have an organization supporting them yet. And we reached out to them because Beth knew of their needs that they had for their students. It is a Title I school. There is a huge population of students that are in need. Students come to school and they don't have clothes. And so the guidance counselors and the assistant principals and leadership, the principal of the school, they started a clothes closet. They started a food pantry. And that's where we gave the Christmas Eve offering to three fourths of the offering went to Third Creek Middle. And so Beth and I had the opportunity a few weeks ago to go and tour and meeting the assistant principal, Dr. Carter, which you're going to meet in the next several weeks. Uh, it changed me. It reminded me, oh my gosh, this is what it feels like to do ministry. This is what it feels like to be the church with real people. And in the year ahead, we have some really cool and powerful things that we can do. We can partner with Third Creek Middle. We can help them have clothes for their kids to put on when they come and their clothes are not adequate for them to be wearing to school. We have even floated the idea of a mini back to school bash. That's this thing that we lead as a church where thousands of students in our local community come and get free school supplies, free tennis shoes, and a fun festival-like atmosphere and setting so that they can start school prepared. Third Creek sits in the middle of no man's land, and so the state school bash, it's far away for them. The Mooresville bash, it's far away for them. So what if we take the bash to them? And so we're already talking about that and what that can look like to serve Third Creek Elementary and Middle School on a Sunday as a church. We also have that amazing new partnership to go to Kagumba and meet a pastor that wants to learn from us and try to connect him to Pastor Jeffrey so they can learn from one another. And we have this new partnership that we have as a church very intentionally with Morseville Christian Mission and Feed North Carolina. And we also are continuing to figure out what pig out and feeding people on Sunday morning in our local community looks like. We are excited for the days ahead. We're excited for what it means to be a people of love and sharing love, but we need you. And this is not some fancy infomercial where I put the, you know, zinger at the end and say, hey, this is all about asking for your money. But uh, we are an organization that actually does like take money and it we use money to do ministry. One of the most powerful ministries that we're doing right now is Amped. And when COVID started, I think West, we, our children's ministry, we just couldn't figure out how to be relevant on Sunday morning when families had so many things pulling at them and, and it was hard to stay exciting in a temporary facility that you can't really do a total lot of things in. And so we were really wrestling with how to be relevant for families. And then COVID happened. Everybody had to stay at home, but we knew that sharing faith with families is so important. So we began something that I visioned five years ago. And no matter how hard I tried and how hard I pushed, we never could execute and implement AMPT. And then COVID happened. And it just seems like we have the perfect team of people around to make it happen. So from uh, like March of last year, when we were having three to five children in the high school on Sunday mornings, now we have launched AMP, which is like a subscription box faith-based ministry for children and families. It has Bible stories and crazy science experiments and crafts. And if you've never watched AMP, I really encourage you to. You don't have to be a child to enjoy it. It's funny and uh, it has a powerful message in every single episode. We've gone from three to five kids on Sunday morning to now we average 52 
views of our AMPED episodes. We have 59 children on our mailing list. And a few weeks ago, Lindsay and the AMPED team sponsored uh, an in-person gathering for children. Do you know that of the 21 children, and we limited the attendance, but of the 21 children that were there, do you know that only two were from West? There were 19 brand new children and families uh, finding our church and our faith community in order to make these things happen, yeah. It does take a little bit of your investment. So I have a challenge for us in the year ahead. Would you be willing to look at your giving? Would you be willing to hear the call of the Apostle Paul to remember the teachings of Christ, that it is more blessed to give than receive? Would you, with me, because I'm going to do this, I'm not going to ever ask you to do something that I am not willing to do. I'm going to increase my giving $100 a month. That is a one nail trip to the salon and a manicure, pedicure, and a gratuity. So would you be willing to sacrifice something in your life and, and give $100? dollars more a month or give fifty dollars more a month if you'll give fifty dollars you will sponsor two amped kids or one child in Uganda and you will be a part of creating like the back to school bash at Third Creek Middle where we can go and we can begin new partners in ministry it is more blessed to give than receive. There's something special that happens in us and with us. And the way that we experience love, if you want to have the best Valentine's Day ever, I challenge you to go now and go and do something for someone other than yourself. Because it is when we give love away that we truly experience it. That was embodied and shown us in the way that Jesus lived his life, the way that he sacrificed his life, and then it impacted the Apostle Paul. He teaches that uh, even to us today. And so I would challenge you to do that. Last Saturday, as we were gathering together at Mooresville Christian Mission, getting ready for our first in-person service day in a really long time, I was struck by emotion and excitement to gather in a circle with three new families and West folks that I'd not seen in a really long time to be able to go and make a difference in our community with one of our missional partners. And then uh, my phone rang and Dawn was texting me and calling me. She's like, I need you to go call this West person right now. So I did. I went and made the phone call and turns out one of our longtime West people was in critical care and was uh, not sure if she was going to make it very long and she couldn't have visitors and she wanted to talk to me about her end of life and she wanted me to pray with her and just give her some words of peace. As I sat there with her in my car, uh, trying to find the right words to say, the only thing I could think of was the 23rd Psalm. You know, God uh, makes us lie down in green pastures. He fills our soul. And even when we're afraid, he gives us all that we need. As I was saying that to her, my voice broke because I was mindful of her presence in the church community and her going on youth mission trips and cool things like that. And that she was a person who existed to give her time and her talents away. As the phone call came to a close, she said, I need to tell you one thing. As I moved away from West to the Pineville area a couple of years ago, I was really determined that I was going to find a church. I was going to find a faith community that I could be a part of because I know how important that is in one's faith journey. I visited all kinds of different churches and for whatever reason, I just couldn't find one that was quite like West. It's really different and it's really unique. And then her voice broke. And she said, I just want to thank you for what West has meant to me. And she said, y'all just keep on being West and keep on making a difference in the community. I hung up with her with a renewed passion for ministry. And I hope you will too. I hope after watching that video, I invite you to watch it again. See the impact that you have made by being a part of a church 
that exists to give itself away. That was the premise that we founded on, that we wanted to love God and serve others and hopefully transform the world. And we believe that we do that by giving ourselves away. And so I'd invite you to explore that in your own life. Whether you give money to West or not, I do hope that with your time and your talents and the resources that God has given you, you will go and you will live out and you will see and experience that it is more blessed to give than receive. It changes things. Will you pray with me? Gracious God, we are grateful for the opportunity to serve you. We serve a savior and a master that shows us that in order to love, in order to feel love and experience that, the way that we do that the most is by giving ourselves away. Thank you for a church that has such an impact and a church that has such a sacrificial heart. It makes a difference. It changes things. God, be in our midst as we try to discern the best ways that we can follow the path that you have laid before us for 2021. Help us be mindful of those that surround us that are in need and help us continue to find ways to give ourselves away. Amen. The song that the worship team chose for the end of today is so powerful. It ties with the message so beautifully. It's about giving the light away. And even when the light is extinguished, the light still burns within us. May we go and be a people of light and give it away. Take a look and listen to this song. Falling in love is an amazing thing. It changes us. It does something inside of us. We're all giddy and, and I call it a great waste lo weight loss agent because when I fell in love uh, after my divorce, it, it changed me. I knew that Tom was going to be someone really special in my life when we were at a Charlotte Knights ball game and we were walking around and he said, uh, so tell me about this back to school bash that the church is a part of. I'm interested in learning more. So I told him all about the bash and he said, well, where is the biggest need? Like, what do y'all need? And I said, well, other than like thousands and thousands of dollars, uh, we need people to wash feet. And I thought he's getting ready to say, tell me anything else but that and I'll be happy to help you. As soon as I said that, he goes, okay, sign me up. I was like, wow, you're willing to wash feet? And he said, yeah, if it helps kids start school ready, I'll wash feet. I knew that day, that night, I'll never forget it, that he was going to be someone special to me. On this Valentine's Day, I hope that you will have people in your life that make you feel special and make you feel loved. But know that you are a child of the most amazing God. We don't have to have humans that love us. We have a God that loves us and lives in us. May we go feel that love, be changed in that love, and may we go be that love and agents of light and peace. Go in peace. Amen.